Good morning, guys. So, July 2nd. Can you guys believe it? It is July 2nd. Let me get through here. <laughs> it is July. Oh, my goodness. Like, I'm just, like, speechless right now. Like, saying July is like saying Christmas because Christmas in July, right? So, I... Every muscle in my body is sore from doing my yard. I don't know what made this time different than the times I've done it before, but I feel so sore. But I know I'm going to be even sore because I'm going to go work out today. Um, let me see if I can get this off again. But anyway, so yeah, I... Went to bed last night and I was thinking, how in the hell am I going to get up in the morning? Because I was starting to feel um, <laughs> the soreness kicking in. But I did do a little more than I typically have done, which um, the entrance to the subdivision, I did the hedges and uh, trimmed and weedied in that area. Because technically that is mine, but... Every now and then, like my neighbors across the street or whatever, they do both sides. So this time, they had not done their yard. So I did it. Just kind of paid it forward, you know, because they're always doing it. Because I think out of the, what, how long have I lived here? Nine and a half years that I've lived here. Um, oh my gosh, I can't even believe I lived here nine years in this house. That's weird in itself. But anyway, I was only giving myself five years in this house. Isn't that crazy? But I did put it up for sale. It didn't sell. My next door neighbor, not my next door neighbor, but my realtor who lives in the same subdivision put her house up for sale. It sold under a month. Like, really? And so she texted me and she was like, if you're wanting to sell she's like now's the time she was like because the people that was and uh, that bought her house i guess had family members had family members um asking if there are other houses that was going to go up to sell in this area i'm trying to find my Main choice edge control. So, so I've thought about it. I've thought about putting it back on the market and see how quickly it was sold. So I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think. Do I have a game plan like I did the last time of what I was gonna do? Uh, no, but I guess the same game plan can remain. But anyway, so what I was about to say. So her house sold within a month. She did a pretty good profit on her house, like pretty, pretty good. Um, and which her house, she only had three bedrooms. My house has four bedrooms. So it should have stayed for sale because my house probably would have sold and her would still be on the market. <laughs> um, but anyway, so... I said all that to say is my body is sore. It looks like it's gonna rain. Like my backyard, I edged everything in my backyard too. That's probably why my arms are really sore from holding the weed eater. Um, and I cleaned I got to, I want to do something to my patio, but I want to use what I have. And I found some, some pillows. Um, where did I find those pillows at? Oh my gosh. Big lots. They're black and tan. So I may go back because my brain keeps going back to those. So I may go back and get them. And they were fairly inexpensive. I think they were like, 
nine dollars eight or nine dollars and i really technically only need like four so let me do this real quick while i'm thinking about it give me a minute i don't really look like i need any but i'm gonna put it anyway guys i'm so thinking about cutting my hair i washed my hair yesterday and i did a protein treatment the Afogee protein treatment which helped so much with my hair i should have recorded it but um excuse me like the heat damage i still have some heat damage but i left that stuff on for it gets like really really hard to me it looks ugh. It was like the grossest thing to put on your hair. And I haven't did that. When I say years, I mean years. It got to be probably 20 years since I did that <laughs> to my hair myself. Um, when I've gotten protein treatments elsewhere, I don't know. If, I don't remember them using anything like that. But anyway, besides the point. So I put it on my hair. One of my coworkers who is a hairstylist, she was like, she said, yeah, I put it on there. Because I was like, I can't wear my hair out, you know, like in a wash and go. I kind of not want to wear makeup today. And I may not. I may just do this. Because my skin looks really good this morning. What do you guys think? So, um, but anyway. I really want to try this eraser I haven't used this in a while nah, let me use that on a weekend day so I put that protein treatment in my hair and after I washed it out so I washed my hair really good and just did like a rinse in put in a rinse in conditioner and then I put that treatment on my hair and let it stay on for like 15 minutes when I washed my hair, like my curl pattern, like on my heat damage areas, started like waving majorly. And I was, I don't know why I didn't record that. Well, for one, because it was last night. <laughs> um, it was late and I wasn't thinking about recording. See, I just put this primer on and it just ruined how cute how supple my skin was looking <sighs> anyway so my curl pattern just like waving so good um but still have some straight ends like in the front um but i haven't straightened my hair since when guys can you guys tell me when the last time i straightened my hair it's been then like during Christmas break and I didn't really straighten my hair. Then January I straightened my hair because I started this job, this position when I transferred departments. And then um, so February, March. I guess what March maybe. Anyway, so it's been right at four months. So I don't know, but I did like how my hair was bouncing back and I was just like, but the thing about it is, it's not really so much the back of my hair that needs cutting. It's like the front, like the back, my curl pattern is fine. I guess because I have a different texture in the back. Let me do this because I can't talk and do eyebrows. Skin. Okay guys, so I'm back. And I was talking about my hair, so I put that treatment in it. I'm not sure how often you can put that in your hair, but I feel like, I, I really feel strongly about doing another Big Chop, which would be technically Big Chop number three or four for me um, in the last eight, Nine years yeah I'm just really really unhappy with my hair right now. I 
am. Like when I twist my hair and I see the puffiness on my new growth and then when I'm twisting and where the straight ends of my hair. But again, the back of my hair is not, like when I twist it and untwist it, it looks nice and full, but the front is where it's more limp to me. I don't know. I'll, I think I have a video. I need to, if I have some clips from the last time that I washed my hair, I'll put it into this video. But yeah, so I'm just really not feeling, uh, not feeling my hair. And then like yesterday, the last couple of days, it was so hot. Like I had to take hair off of my head. Like I could not wear this unit. It, it was it was horrible like Saturday I could not wait to get home and take this hair off of my head I was sweating so bad it was so hot uh, and it started early that morning and then of course um getting out running errands I was like this hair gotta come off like I was so it's like days like that like I want to wear my natural hair out but I have to pull it back or put a cap on it because it ain't looking too cute. I mean, it could. Like, I've worn a wash and go. And it didn't look as look too bad. But it didn't look like the wash and go that I know that I can, I can rock, you know. So, I guess. Is my phone bugging me? So I guess I could, I should have, could have, I should have been concerned about heat damage when I'm like, I'm not really feeling heat damage because of my hair right now, where I am professionally, because I really felt like at that time, and I still do in a way, and I hate to say this, but um, I just think like now, like straightening my hair again, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that again. I think I'll, I'll continue to do something like this, like where curly hair or found a a unit that I like and wear it but as far as straightening my hair again I'm not sure how excited I am about doing it again It's so muggy outside. It looks like it's gonna rain. I hope it's like this when I get off work so I can do the stairs again today. Um, I try to do those like every Monday, but it doesn't necessarily work out that way. But anyway, <clears throat> so I am headed to support a blood drive for a military fraternity. So I'm not giving blood, but I'm going to support. So, so much going on right now in our office. I absolutely love the color of that car. Oh my gosh, that's nice. And it's a charger. You guys know that chargers are like, they're like my female male car. Like if I had to have a car just to, to stunt in, <laughs> not the norm for me to drive, it will be a charger like it has always been a charger but i've never owned one but i love and that one's gold black and gold or black and yellow whatever color it is it looks nice um i think i will probably have mine either in red or so i would like to have mine in a color that's more like oh that's a nice car so i just finished working out in my garage so what I'm gonna have for um, for dinner, I'm gonna fix a couple of the Dr. Prager's. This is the black bean quinoa veggie burgers. And the macros in here, let's see. Um, macros is 16 carbs, one gram of sugar, and five grams of protein. 
I'm not eating this with a bun. I'm gonna eat it just with lettuce and some mushrooms and tomatoes and lettuce and onions. So I'll show you what that looks like whenever I fix it. Why would I put sardines on my burgers? Well, you put you sardines on crackers, and it tastes good, though. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have my veggie burgers all together. And it looks nasty. It looks nasty? Because yeah. I have the mushrooms on it? Yes. I thought those were burnt sardines. <laughs> burnt sardines. On a veggie burger. I, I was like, I was like, That's so funny, nice. Maddie. Well, I, thought, I was like, it was Okay, so, and then I'm also gonna have, I have a taste for some bubbly, some, I have a Diet Coke. Zero calories, zero sugar, no fat. Zero sugar, zero carbs. It's, it's a zero, it's total fat and zeros on there. Yep. So, I'm finished eating. And my burgers was so good. Oh my gosh. It was so good. I had two and I could have went for a third one, but I didn't. And I actually was going to fix three burgers. That's why you saw three, um, the lettuce and the tomatoes. You saw three of those, but I only did two, but it was so good. Oh my gosh. But I am about to, I see I have my hair and my little twist ponytails um twist ponytail but anyway so i am about to shower and then i'm going to relax like i did my workout in my garage so i didn't go to the gym and then i ate madison's working on some school work that was that she had to bring home for the summer and so making sure she stays up to par with her especially her math, reading and everything else she has down packed, but her math. And yeah, so I get to relax very early tonight. Yay. Bye.